Hi, this is Clark257, and we're going to do another Genesis Losers VOD. And we have a Bait and Stango. Sir Steve, a Bait. And Smash Studios, Stango. Stango, this is arguably his breakout tournament. He has wins on Android and Cobalt today, I believe. A Bait, the Luigi of Legend, so much so that a, an organization in Pittsburgh decided to make him one of, the, make him one of their own and grant him a knighthood. Bad B.I. on the fair, and Abate strikes first. Abate the best Luigi currently active. He beat Eddie Mexico, the second best Luigi currently active, to get to this position. And you can see why. Luigi-Marth, the matchup that is said to be Marth favored by a significant gap. Um, Marth very, very good at walling out uh, Luigi just in general. Although, like, I mean, I say that. But this is, this is pretty dominating so far, you gotta say. Multiple forward airs in a combo. This is like Smash 4. Okay, Stango getting something going and the tipper. All right, Abate is back. Very floaty and linear recovery from Luigi. If Luigi is ever below the stage, Marth is almost certainly going to be able to hit him at least once. Although that fireball is a very good coverage option if you know about it. And Abate knows what there is to know about this character. Didn't charge the down B, though. And uh, he's out of a stock, but it was a stock well-lived, to say the least. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, he did the thing. <laughs> so that is an invincible edge guard. Um, where Abate just uses the get-up attack invincibility and he sets it up by by wave dashing off a platform in shield. Uh, Luigi falls for long enough after doing that so that he's in tumble when he hits the ground. And by not teching and using the get-up attack, uh, Abate is able to find a new way to eliminate stocks. And he gets it fairly often. And um, it's always goofy when it hits, but um, Luigi is goofy, so it fits. Okay, that rhyme. And that game's over. Uh, a three stock for Abate. So we go to Yoshi's story. And um, this is obviously, this is the Marth counterpick just across the board. A bait does not have a jump. We'll see if he can recover at all, and he can't. And a great opener from Stango. This obvious, again, this is just, it's the Marth counterpick, and the reason for this is that the sword takes up more relative space on a stage where there is less space to begin with. And uh, so far, this is not a complete opposite from the first game, but it's it's going well for Stango, which is something that could not be said at all for the first game. Luigi nares out. This is one of the common gripes about Luigi by people who are playing against him, and the boon for people who play with him. Luigi's nair is on is frame two and hits directly below him. What a coverage option from Luigi from Abate there. And because that's true, it's very difficult to do strings on Luigi. He will nair out, and so. Um, there's a big dynamic with that. But Marth circumvents that problem somewhat by having a big sword, by being able to get around that that Nair, at least to some degree, because for all of Nair's boons, it is not a ranged move. So Stango with his lead. Um, Abate, as we've seen in this set multiple times, capable of cleaning up stocks at this percent. And... Did he do it with the forward smash? You bet. So, I say it, and it is, and the bait even stocks up. Luigi on Randall. Um, okay. And he air dodges back on. That is an that's another thing about Luigi. Uh, it, it's goofy looking. It looks um, not ugly, to be sure, but different. It's effective. It's very effective, especially in hands like these that are so experienced with it. But uh, bait down one stock to Stango. Luigi with the best wave dash in in the game. Stango doing a better job of keeping Luigi out this game than he did last game. 
And in addition, he's just been getting more of his openings. That combo to begin the game was huge in setting the tone. That maybe could be a dead Luigi. He barely gets around the F tilt, but uh, I like the choice with the uh, neutral B, knowing that Luigi just doesn't have anything fast. He kind of has to move like a rook in chess. He's either all the way to the side or all the way up, literally. His, his movement is terrible off the upbeat. So that's the nature of the recovery. Stango, knowing that, does very well to clean it up. And we are 1-1. See what the counter pick is. Dreamland is the general Marth counter pick, but we'll see what Abate has for us. And it will be FD. FD, a fine Luigi stage. Generally a very good Marth stage as well. This, I think, is one of those matchups where it's fairly lopsided, and for that reason, although Abate takes the first stock in fantastic fashion. There aren't really any definitive counter picks for Luigi, but there are for Marth, and that can be a problem. Um, although Dreamland does work pretty well. Little two piece from Stango. See if they can get down, and he can't. Give him a minute there. Oh, there you go. Nice tipper. Good, good on him to recognize that he was at that spacing. This could be a big opening. A bait making his presence felt with that turnaround. And he goes up three stocks to two. All right, nothing doing on the forward smash, but again, Stango has been has had a hard time getting out of the corner this game. This game, that is. But as I say that, he gets a great juggle and builds a lot of percent. That's something that Marth has very rarely a hard time doing against Luigi. Okay, wave dash in F tilt. Didn't get the right hit on up B for it to be much of an option, but Luigi floaty enough to not punish him for it. Okay, maybe off stage. Nah, he's all right. Good, good use of the down B to come down. Just putting out all those hit boxes, making it even harder for Stango to punish Luigi. There's that rook-like recovery again, although the double jump does offset things somewhat. And that should be, yeah, you see there, again, Luigi has almost no mobility on the up and so if you know that that's all he has, he's basically dead. Great f tilt from Evade, he takes the stock. Chain grab on Luigi, interesting pick. Um, avoiding all those hitboxes, but Evade gets the down smash. Edgeguard situation. Maybe. Not yet. Abate doing a great job this game being slippery, as you're supposed to be with Luigi. He used his jump, so that could be a problem, but he's allowed to land, and no Ken combo for you. Great neutral leads to keep him off. And the misfire comes out and rears its ugly head, and Abate gets back to the stage, but only for a second. Risky choice off stage there. Stango playing great ledge game. All right, another grab. We'll see how much damage he can build. He could build as much as he might need. Great roll read to come in. And a bait now at percents that aren't lethal, but could be troublesome. Gets the forward air. All right, this could be a combo now, just forward air. And the air will get it. And a bait takes game three. So, uh, Dango's got options for his counter pick, although the best one has already been burned. Dreamland, all right. Your pick, sir. And, uh, well, actually, sir refers to a person at this point. All right, not a lot of damage on the edge guard. That could be bad, and 
Okay, no additional damage on the down B, but um, a lot of damage built up for Stango early. Abeta's used his jump and misfire again, rearing its ugly head. Both times it has come up at all, it has helped Abate get out of those kind of situations. All right, that up there is not going to get you anything. Okay, missed ledge dash. This is often the price of having a character that must do this to survive. But a crouch cancel. Bit of damage building up. Good job going to ledge. All right, that could be bad. Down smash, not gonna knock him off, but he didn't hit the ground in the time between the down smash and the down air. So, a bait all right and taking the stock and looking to close out Stango and move on to the round of 24, but what a dare and what a response from Stango. Bates still moving around. Stango is taking the advantage in this game. And uh, still quite a bit of damage on a bait, but no stock just yet. Marth still has trouble with killing, even with Luigi's linear recovery. Although, as I, I mean, I said that, but. Uh, Stango did get that dare and take, took an early stock. And there is another out to that. Tipper F smash coming through. This could be a stock. No, the bait gets back. And that's probably over eager of me to say. But uh, Stango with a slight lead. A bait can erase it with one flick of the C stick though. Nothing yet. It looked like he might have gotten that move there. And uh, Stango can allowed to continue to build damage. And there is that F tilt. That should be it. It is. And we go to last stock in game four. This could be hard to get back from. Bait just taking a bit of damage, but uh, he should be alright. He has plenty of air room to work with, although as I say, that's Stango getting all the juggles he could ever ask for. This is bad. Able to get out, either by his own DI or by the hands of fate. But that tipper takes game four and sends us to game five in this set. So we'll see where we go. Pokemon Stadium will be the site of the last game of this set. And here come both players. The bait with the down smash. Down smash doesn't really lead into anything at any time on Marth, not guaranteed. This compared to Spacey's who it wrecks. This could be a lot of damage. It's hard for Luigi to come up with a response to something as spaced as well as that. Comes in with that forward smash, but uh, Stango ready for it and gets the pivot tipper. Abate trying to interrupt, that's bad. Okay, misfire threatening enough to get Abate back there. But you saw that he upbeat and he had to go to ledge. He couldn't have drifted on stage. That is the nature of the move. So that could have been it for Abate. But, um,. He stayed alive and still is in this stock. The three misfires he has gotten have all been at least a bit useful, but the tipper will take it and Stango up three stocks to two on serve eight. So we have another stadium situation. So at this time, I'd like you to uh, look around wherever you're viewing and uh, 
try and count how many hats there are in the room here. Just, uh, I don't know where you are, but, um, or you could just press L a few times and skip about 30 seconds ahead. Okay, we're, we're coming back to it, all right. All right, a bait looking for a combo or something strong just to um, get himself back into it. But it, it's pretty hard for Luigi to open up Marth as, as Marth can open him up. The up B won't kill, but uh, made a nice sound, didn't it? And it got a lot of damage in as well. Great platform movement. F tilt doesn't hit, F smash doesn't hit, but the nature of Luigi's wave dash lets him be safe. Okay, Stango's still living, but kind of exposed himself up, up top there. All right, let's see how much damage. Phantom hit and dash attack, and that was just an unfortunate couple of seconds for survey. But oh well. Uh, that's, that's big pressure and kind of on the wrong side of the fair for a bait. But um, a bit of damage nonetheless falls just out of reach of the ledge with that up B and a bait on tournament stock. See if he can do something cheeky to Stango. Sure looks that way. And Stango getting carried away with his ledge stall and he too buying on tournament stock now. It all comes down to this. For one of these players, the other still is another set. Um, Bait going for those down smashes. Great, perfect shield in the dash attack. Stango with the damage lead. A bait now off stage. Looking for a few hits, anything. Stango not giving it to him just yet. There is that grab. Nair into another aerial. To ledge. No ledge guard. That was really close to tipper forward smash point. Invisible ceiling glitch has eliminated Steve Abate. What a way to end it. I don't know if I've ever seen that.